are actually in my conservatory because the washing machine's running in the kitchen so it's a bit noisy in there. Right, we've got some rubber bands from the bargain store or dollar store or whatever you want to call it. Bought those the other day. They look to me like they're not actually rubber. Um, but I'm sure they'll do the job. I oh, would go for yellow. Oh, I could just show you how to join them, couldn't I? If I use red and yellow, that'll make it a bit easier. So, two loops, push one through the other, and then push that through there, pull it up, and you've got a link. Do the yellow one next. So, push the loop through, Push the end through itself. There you go. Red one. Through the middle. Through itself. How are we doing for length? Oh, probably a couple more. Through the loop through itself what can I have red next through the loop through itself that oh, looks long enough so now push the loop through that loop And then push that through. So it's going all the way through. And we are joined up. Yes, that's probably a bit longer than it needs to be, but that'll do the job. So we just hook that on the back there, that holds it in place, wind it up. Yeah, I think these are silicon bands rather than rubber bands. I don't think that's going to matter at all. So they're still going to do what we need it to do. You can hear the washing machine going in the kitchen. So if we just point that in the right general direction. Get ready to carry the camera. worked all right. We might have another go, see if we can get it through the door into the hallway. I usually hit the doorway when I try and do something like that. But we'll give it a try. too bad. Probably would have made it if we hadn't hit the side of the wall. I think that'll do. Quick summary, what have we got? We've gone right back to basics here. Very simple rubber band powered car made from cardboard, CD wheels, milk bottle tops, barbecue skewer axles, drinking straw axle tubes, and a bit of sticky back plastic to make it look pretty. A little peg on the back axle there to hook the rubber band onto. And that's about it really. That's for those people who've 
been looking at some of my old videos and wanted a bit more detail. Job done.